Hi, I'm Eddie Averis with Focoria. Today's weekly video is an exciting one, but before I go into it, I'm going to briefly uh, discuss what's been going on. First of all, the cyano dino is completely gone. Uh, it, what I actually was doing uh, actually worked. Uh, weekly water changes, siphoning out. If you follow me, you'll notice on my previous videos that I did a DYI, a little tube that I purchased, and I went ahead and I um, vacuumed all the, the dyno flatulence and all that, and I did a weekly water change, and it did do the actual trick, plus the thing with the lights. Another thing that I thought I mentioned on the intro, if you notice, new uh, acquisitions. I got a non-photosynthetic Gorgonian. I also got a uh, Ganiopora, the uh, red ones, which are my favorite. And I also got a new product to feed the reef as a whole, but targeting the Gorgonia by reef nutrition. Now today we're just going to talk about one of these topics, the Gorgonian and the product that I actually purchased to feed it, but not only that, to feed the whole reef. So hold on one second. Okay, and here we are in front of the tank, of course, focused to the Gorgonian. And this is what I found out. Gorgonian's species are either photosynthetic, which is like the previous one that I got, and I'll pan later and show you where I placed it, or the non-photosynthetic, which is this one. Uh, the abbreviation is NPS, of course, for non-photosynthetic. So when you hear at an LFS or a fellow hobbyist uh, talk about MPS Gorgonias, they're talking about the non-photosynthetic Gorgonias. Now, photosynthetic corals in general, whether it's uh, Gorgonias or in general, or corals that are photosynthetic corals as a whole, their nutrients come from sunlight. That's where they uh, get the photo synthesis and they get all the vitamins and all that from the sun but non-photosynthetic corals in this case the gorgonians take their nutrients solely from nutrients found in the water column and not from a, a light source of course which would be the sunlight here of course on a close environment in the hobby it, uh, it would be from the lights that you have now, Gorgonians generally are also called either sea fans or sea whips. Now, you'll find more, uh, most of the photosynthetic Gorgonias in the Caribbean waters. In other words, in the Atlantic side of the ocean. And in contrast, more non-photosynthetic Gorgonias are found in the Pacific waters. Now, you have more color variations found in the non-photosynthetic gorgonias, like let's say yellow, like this one, red, and blue, as opposed to the Atlantic Caribbean photosynthetic ones, which are either pink, brown, or cream in color. Now, the non-photosynthetic ones require regular feeding for proper nutrition because they are considered filter feeders. Now, when it comes to water flow, they require a strong water flow. When it comes to lighting, uh, they require strong lighting because they are found in shallow waters. Now, these corals are geared for more advanced to expert hobbyists because of the constant feeding and constant care that you need to apply to these type of corals. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pan to the left to show you where I placed the photosynthetic gorgonia, the one that you've been seeing a lot that I have it in front. Let me go ahead and pan. Now this is where I had it, right in the middle, the photosynthetic. I went ahead and gave this effect on the back side of the lobo, and there, there you'll find the photosynthetic gorgonia. There you have it. And now about the new food that I was uh, about to start to use, I've already used it once, uh, Reef Nutrition Phyto Feast. 
it an excellent product. I have heard about these products way, way back. I've never tried them, but I thought I did some research on it, and they are top of the line, not only for Gorgonias, which are, um, you know, filter feeders. You have to feed them a lot, but to the reef as a whole. I hope you enjoyed the video, you found it educational, fun and interesting. If you did, hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Right next to it, there's a little bell, hit that. That's the notification button, so every time I upload a video, you'll be the first ones to be notified that Eddie's Reef Aquaria uploaded a video. And I hope you enjoyed it, and as I said, uh, I'm very happy that the substrate is uh, clean. You might see like a... Um, little um like a little brownish it's the uh, maintenance you know like once a week i usually will rake the uh, bottom and all that but that's the normal uh things of a reef tank like you know cleaning the glass and all that but there's no more cyano there's no more uh dinoflatulence as i briefly stated but i'll get more detail now what happened is i did use the as you must be aware i used the microbacter clean I used it for six weeks and I kept using it and using it on a daily basis so the next step was as you notice on my previous video that I did a DYI a little tube and I siphoned all of that green crap I went I went ahead I do I did that and I started to uh, do like weekly water changes like instead of 20 like a 10 percent because it was weekly and uh, I did that like what, like for two weeks. And the first time I did it, I noticed the improvement. Then I did it again and I did it once more. And that's it. So now what I've done is I've gone back to Microbacter 7, which is like a maintenance. That'll be like once a week. It's a beneficial bacteria that will help to take the nitritis and all the organics uh, out of the rocks and the substrate and in general the uh, water column so I went back to that uh, the lights I did bring the major photo period as uh, so if you follow me or if you watch my previous video you notice that I had to bring it down from uh, six and a half to five hours now what I'll do is uh, to play it safe this weekend I'm going to do another uh, water change a uh, 10% and that will finalize the weekly water changes because of the issue that I had then uh, upon doing that I'll bring up the photo period to what I had it I mean the duration not the uh, lights I might start to also ramp up but I probably will wait like another week to start bringing up in increments of 5% weekly until I hit my target AB plus template or program shall we call it that I've been using in this tank but it's all processed slowly and a lot of patience so like I say at the end of all of my videos happy reefing thank you very much for watching this video keep safe and have a great fantastic day bye bye <music>